Hi, my name is Cy Porter and this tutorial is about how to add animated tiers to an animated head and so this is what um, it looks like when I'm done. Pretty basic process using puppet tools and motion tracking and also keep in mind if you have a chance check out my animation at solimation.com in Photoshop I created another layer and then traced on top of the face the path of the tears and then I made the face image invisible leaving only the tracing of the tears then I used screen capture software to begin drawing over the path of the tears and making a video of that and after that I brought it into Adobe After Effects I created a new composition with that video file and I'll go ahead I'll turn off the effects on the layer I brought that layer into the composition and I applied a contrast inverted it and then I added black and white and these are all effects you can go into the effects menu and you can look for auto contrast invert and then black and white and then I applied a Gaussian blur to it I want the tears to be shiny so I want I inverted it for that reason so that the drawing becomes white on black I went back to the original file and I brought in a fresh copy of it the effects I applied to that file for one thing I switched it to multiply which will darken all the darks will be <clears throat> applied to the layers below it not the lights and I applied the effect of black and white and I did a lens blur and I amped up the iris radius to 39 so as you can see here without that what I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm making it basically dark in the middle and light around the outside and hit control D several times to to make Duplicate, duplicate copies of that and basically as you can see here it just multiplied the effect so now what I have is I have a tear pattern that's light around the outside and dark in the middle and it's a black and white video because I want the tears to be shiny on the outside I'm gonna go ahead and render this and then that rendered video I'm going to apply to the face I'll show you what I'm doing here I have the animated face video and I'm motion tracking six points the two points are the outer corners of the eyes two points are the inner parts of the eyes and two points are the lower cheeks and I'm applying the motion tracks to six null objects and that will I'll use those null objects that will follow the face around to control puppet pins that I am going to apply to the video of the animated tears Thank you for watching this tutorial. It's made so that more people can be told about an illustrated film. Episodes of the film are posted at solomation.com. New episodes are posted as they are finished. All episodes will be free, available to watch at solomation.com. Okay, I want to prep the one video file of the tears to attach it to the animation of the face here. Take the 
tears video bring it in here to a composition that has the video of the animated head change the blending mode to screen I'm going to scale it down hit the shift key so that it scales uniformly and bring it in here it's really light I'm going to go ahead and hit the duplicate key make it show up more now that I have the tiers in proportion to the dimensions of the project I'm working in which are 720 by 720 I'm gonna go ahead and delete the head and now I just have the tiers here what I'm gonna be doing is rendering a new video file with the tiers to scale to the project I'm gonna be working in and I change the background to black so that I can when I create the new video file I can use the blending mode to screen to have all the black disappear and just have the the white to gray tears show up okay so I rendered out the tears video file proportional and I'm bringing it into the main composition I want to go and get the puppet tool here I put the pins onto the animated tears file and I'm going to set the blend mode for the tears animation file to screen the first pin I know that it is stage left cheek so go ahead and hit the P for the null object left cheek to open up the position parameters here and then I'll alt click on the stopwatch of the puppet pen to enable expressions and then I'll pick whip the position of left cheek and then click outside of the box to close that out now when I did the motion track on that I tracked it to the edge of the mouth because that the the drawing of the mouth was uh, what I could get a good tracking on but actually I want to go ahead and move that null object because I want it to be further out on the cheek and by selecting position make sure all the keyframes are selected and then I can go ahead and move all the keyframes at once out here away from the mouth. Okay and I've gone ahead and connected all the puppet pins to the null objects and as I scroll ahead here you can see that the animated tiers are now mapped to the animated face. I'm going to double click on the tiers animation and I'm gonna mask that out so I go up here and I select the pin tool and I want to get rid of all that black background that is not needed. And then if I go back when I render it I'll be able to then isolate the head from the animation I'm going to add it to and that's pretty much it I've, I've now attached an animated tears to an animated head and I can render this file out and then add the new video file to the rest of the this character's body and that'll be it and I hope this tutorial was helpful please take the time to go check out solomation.com my animation work there wanted to say thank you to YouTube user Pagan Glade for all the helpful comments and feedback and I hope your animation goes well and have a good day.